guys, I am here today to film my uh, hair video, which is just going to kind of be an overview of the products that I use, and also I'm going to talk just briefly about my hair cut and style itself. Um, I'll start with my hair. Um, just to give you an idea, I have very long hair. It's, um, it's very thick, and it's a bit wavy, because if I let it go, um, I just have to put some product in it. It's not like super curly, but it is wavy. Um, so that's why I blow dry it 90% of the time. Um, I have um, a wonderful hairstylist that I go to here that is amazing with color, and she's very good with cutting and styling as well. Um, if I try to explain to her what I want, she pretty much knows and will give me what I need. Um, so basically, my hair itself is layered. It has a lot of um, shorter layers around the front, and the back itself also is layered. And I mainly asked her for this because I want um, volume at the top, at the crown. Um, I want to, whether I do it with a flat iron, when I round brush it, I need to, to have shorter layers around the top so I can get the volume up here that I want. Um, and also my hair, because it is so thick, it can get weighed down very easily. So putting layers in it can kind of break up and take away that bulk in your hair, which if, if you have, you know, long thick hair, you know what I mean, when it just hangs and it, it gets hot and heavy and you just need to you know, in a way, just lighten it up. And that's what I do. Um, like I said, I have shorter layers that come um, around the front, and then it just gradually layers down into other um, longer layers throughout my hair. And it makes it very easy to round brush it when it is layered like that, because I just section it off and um, round brush each section, and it's, it's much easier for me than if it was all one length, because I would be there forever. I mean, it takes me a while to do it um, as it is, but it's just a little bit easier. Um, and then as far as the style, how I get this kind of look with, um, I don't know how you want to call it, the, you know, the layers itself, I just use a flat iron. I have a curling iron. I don't use it that much. Um, I'm, it, a flat iron is easier for me. This is the sea -Doo Revolution. I've had this for many, many years. I absolutely love it. I don't remember what, um, I think this is one inch, but I could be wrong. Um, you can probably just look it up on the Ulta website. That's where I got mine. Um, and you can just see what, what this is, but this is amazing. It heats up, um, super quick and it's very easy to just, um, what I do is when I take my hair, I just will go like this and I will just, um, flat iron it under and kind of give it a curl instead of flat ironing it to make it straight. I will just take a piece and I will just go basically, we can see like that, and it just curls um, my hair. So basically I curl my hair with a flat iron just to give it some, some body at the bottom. Um, and it's very simple, it's very easy. Um, as far as how often I wash my hair, I will wash it about twice a week. Um, it really does not get very oily at all at the top because it is thick. Um, I do love dry shampoos. I will use dry shampoos throughout the week, um, you know, every few days that I um, don't wash it. And it just, you know, makes it smell nice. It just refreshes your hair. It, you know, if you do have some oil, um, it will take it away. But um, for the most part, about twice a week, I wash my hair, which, you know, my hairdresser told me that that's fine. It actually helps your hair because it doesn't strip your hair of the natural oils. So that's just what I do um, briefly just for styling and... I just knocked my flat iron over, so I'm just going to put that on my lap so it doesn't fall and break. Um, one thing I do also want to talk about, um, just while I'm talking about like tools and stuff, um, when I get out of the shower, the first thing I do is I use a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair. I have tried many kinds. This is actually my favorite. This is by Conair, and it has a handle and um, wider bristles, which I absolutely love. I actually just bought myself a new one because I like to change these out. Um, kind of often just so they don't get, um, I don't know, they, they, I just like to change them out. I'm weird like that, I guess. But um, I absolutely love this. This is great for detangling, very gentle. Um, one last uh, tool I guess I want to talk about is the um, Tangle Teaser, which I've had this for many years. I actually got this at Sally's a couple years ago. Um, and this is great if you back comb your hair or you tease your hair and you need to comb that tease out before you take a shower. This is wonderful for it because if you see the bristles are um, very gentle. Or if you curl your hair and do like a really intricate style and you need to, um, you know, brush it out before you, you go in the shower. This is much more gentle than a brush to detangle it. Um, you don't want to damage your hair. It will not damage your hair. It's very gentle. You just take section by section and just gently, um, you know, brush it out. So this is 
my, um, I, I used to use this all the time when I did back home my hair, haven't done that in a while, but um, this is always good to have just if you need some, if you have like a, a tangle in your hair, if you've gone swimming and um, your hair is kind of knotty, this is also good to use for that. So I do recommend the Tangle Teaser as well. Um, to talk about the products that I use, I am just going to start with shampoo and conditioners. Um, Currently, I am using the Pureology Hydrate Shampoo and Condition. This, I showed this in a haul video uh, not too long ago. I am not very loyal to shampoos and conditioners. I try different ones all the time. Um, I do like these that I'm using. They um, are very moisturizing. They are very, very nice in my hair. So once these are done, I may try something else. I may repurchase them. I haven't really decided yet, but um, I do like them. Um, another shampoo that I have repurchase and I will always repurchase that will always be in my shower. This is the Paul Mitchell clarifying shampoo number two. This is wonderful for clarifying your hair. It does not strip the moisture from your hair. It does not damage your color. This is wonderful and it's so important to clarify um, your hair at least once or twice a month because we do put so much product into our hair. You want to clarify it and get it all that might be stuck at the roots that's preventing it from growing that's just you know kicking up in your your hair you don't want that this is by far the best that I have tried um, like I said I will always have this in my shower because I do use it um, pretty often if I feel like I might not even limit it to twice a month if I feel like a certain week I've used a little extra product and I really need to just clean my hair I will use that it's it's wonderful and it's it's very gentle um, on your hair as well so anyone can use it and you should clarify your hair. You, ha you should. Um, as far as masks and conditioners and things like that, um, I I will use a conditioner, but I will also also use a um, deep conditioning treatment. Um, the one that I, I like from Orbe is the Mask for Beautiful Color. This is just one of the little bottles. Um, they're kind of pricey, so I just tend to buy the little ones. Um, but th they do last uh, a couple uses, so this is good. Um, I will put this in my hair. This smells amazing, and it also does really um, you know, put the moisture back into your hair, so that's wonderful. The other one that I do use is by um, uh, Biolage. This is the Matrix Color Bloom Mask, and it brightens and renews color-treated hair. I just really like this. I like the way this smells, and I like the way this feels in my hair. It's really, really good. Um, it's very conditioning, very moisturizing, um, and it's good you know, if you do a dye your hair or you put highlights in your hair. Um, I always tend to go for color treated products, but this is very good. Um, you should look into this and they actually have a whole range of different masks. Uh, you just find whichever one is right for you, but I like this one a lot for myself. Um, okay, after I finish washing and conditioning my hair and I get out of the shower, I use the white tooth comb. I will, the very first thing I, I do after I detangle my hair is I will use this product. And this is my Holy Grail, Hidden Gem, I have used this for so many years. This is my secret for getting long hair and growing your hair long. This is the Chi Keratin Mist. This is a leave-in strengthening treatment, and this is what it looks like. I absolutely love this. I will use this all over. I will spray it in my roots. I will spray it all throughout my hair. I will make sure my hair is coated in it, um, and it's a very thin mist. So you can really you know, spray it all throughout your hair. I will take my comb. I will comb it through again. Um, this is amazing for growing your hair out and basically because it is a keratin mist which is going to just put that back into your hair it's going to help your hair grow um i've cut my hair short this has made it grow i've had a hairdresser that was scissor happy and she cut a little bit too much off my hair i wasn't worried because i knew i had this and it will grow your hair very quickly and very um it will it will strengthen your hair so it's a wonderful wonderful product and I will never be without it and like I said that is my hidden gem that I've used for years um, after that I will go in with some sort of styling product um, this is the Kerastase elixir ultimate this is just a styling serum um, I have had this for a while you do not need a lot of it a pump um, a pump to a pump and a half is good for my hair this is wonderful wonderful stuff um, and it is very good for just um, you know, smoothing your hair and making it ready for, you know, when you blow dry it. Um, I also love the Orbe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. This is more of a cream, not a serum. This is also wonderful for, um, you know, smoothing your hair and things like that. That's what I go for. I just go for smoothing products that are going to add um, style and that are not very heavy because I don't like to put heavy products in my hair. Um, those two are wonderful for that. I will just alternate whatever I feel like using. Um, once I do that, I will put some sort of um, volumizing thickening product in my hair. I absolutely love the Orbe Maximista Thickening Spray. Um, and I'll just spray this in my roots when it is wet, and this will give me super 
volume. Um, I love this stuff. This is so amazing. Um, one last thing also is the um, Orbe Foundation Mist, which I use as a leave-in conditioner. I do use this in conjunction with the other um, Chi product because this is more of a um, conditioner that you're going to spray into your hair. So just to give it that little extra moisturizer um, in your hair, this is wonderful and it's very lightweight, so it's not going to weigh your hair down either. So I, I love that. Um, after I've dried my hair, um, one thing I, I forgot to mention that I do also like that I don't use all the time, but it's the Orbe Royal Blowout. This is the heat styling spray. This is kind of like a heat protectant for your hair. It will um, give it just a little extra shine if you need it, but this is this is very good. I Like I said, I don't use this all the time, but it is a very good product, um, and it smells amazing too. Um, okay, so after I have dried my hair, um, what I will do, especially after I... Um, flat ironed it, you know, and curled it with a flat iron, I will go in with some sort of product for the ends. And I strictly will only use these products, like, from the, the mid, I would say from here down, um, just to, just to seal in the ends, just to make them shiny and not dry or anything. <clears throat> and I have three products that I will alternate with that. Um, the first one is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. This is amazing. This is very concentrated though, so you don't want to use a lot of it. Um, I will use maybe a pump for my hair. I could get away with a half a pump. If you have fine hair, you want to just use the tiniest amount because it, it is very, um, very concentrated, very heavy. So you do want to be careful with it, but it is very good stuff. I really like this. Um, the next one is the uh, Moroccan Oil Moroccan Oil Treatment. This is, this is amazing. This is just basically a, a Moroccan oil you put in your ends. This smells wonderful, and this is very good as well, just for, for the ends of your hair. Um, another one that I love is the Aveda Brilliant Universal Styling Cream with jojoba. This is, it says it's definition, moisture, and shine for coarse hair. I love this too. I don't use a lot of it. Um, you just, you know, put it in your hands, you rub it and emulsify it, and just run it through. You know, this is good, you know, if you're doing like a piecier look like this, and you just want to um, separate it, you just put it all throughout your hair. Uh, and again, I just concentrate that from the mid to the ends of my hair. So that is very good. Um, as far as other like volumizing products that I may use, I have three that I do love. Um, this is by Redken. This is the Quick Tease number 15. This is basically back combing finishing spray. This is wonderful stuff. Um, if you spray it at the roots and you just kind of work it in with your hand, it will give you um, a lot of volume. It is very good. Um, they do sell smaller sizes of this, so if you wanted to try a smaller size before you invest it in the big size, you can, and I always recommend doing that with anything that you can, get a smaller size. Um, the other two are by Orbe. This is the uh, Dry Texturizing Spray. This stuff is amazing. This will give you a huge volume. It, it will. It can be a little bit um, drying, so you want to use it sparingly, but I absolutely love this, especially on um, freshly washed hair, to give it some texture and to give it volume. I love this. It's wonderful. Um, you just shake it and then you just um, spray it wherever you want volume. It can also be um, used as an alternative to dry shampoo, but I wouldn't recommend it only because it can be a little bit drying and you're going to have like, um, if you use too much you don't want to do that so but that is very good for volume the other one is the orbe dry finishing spray which can be used on wet or dry hair um sometimes what i will do with this i will after i've styled my hair i will spray it where i want volume and i will take the hair dryer and hit it with heat because it, it is um can be heat activated for extra volume amazing again i don't use them together but one or the other amazing this is very very good as well um briefly i will talk about the um dry shampoo. <clears throat> I talked about this in a couple other videos. This is the Orbe Cote d'Azur. This is the hair refresher. I have used a ton of different dry shampoos. My absolute favorite one was by Redken, and it was called the Powder Refresh. They have since discontinued it, which makes me so sad. That was amazing for my hair. It didn't give that white cast. It just, it was amazing, but they don't make it anymore, so I'm trying this one. Um, once I finish that, I will probably try something else. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I'm all about dry shampoo. Um, and the last two things I'm going to talk about are um, hairsprays. I don't use that much hairspray um, because my hair will hold style pretty well. Um, I do. This is the Orbe Superfine Hairspray. This is good if you are doing an updo. Um, sometimes I will just throw my hair up in a bun, um, a messy top down or something like that. And if I have little baby hairs, I will just use this to smooth them down. Um, and this is also good if you are doing like a... Um, you just want like a light hold. This is good as well, just very lightly throughout your hair. 
This guy has been my favorite for years. This is the Sebastian Shaper Fierce Hairspray. This is good stuff. This is mega, mega hold. Um, if you are doing, again, an updo that you want to not go anywhere, if you are doing a curled look that you do not want to go anywhere, you will use this. And this is, this is good. This is really, really um, wonderful. It's an ultra firm finishing spray. Um, if you do not like firm hold hairsprays, do not try this. You will like the Orbe or something else that's not as um, thick, but this is also good um, for brides. Um, you know, if you're, again, you're doing an updo, if you're doing a style where you want it to stay, definitely check that out. It's, it's good stuff. And they do sell smaller bottles of it as well. Okay, I think I have talked enough about hair. I have rambled on and on about everything. But if you have any questions, if there's anything that I missed or I didn't talk about that you want to know, please uh, let me know down below and I will definitely get back to you and let you know whatever it is. Um, thank you for watching. And if you have any other questions, please just leave them below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks, guys.